In this video, we will talk about the primitive with respect to time. The primitive or antiderivative of a certain function is another function that we can differentiate to get the first one. Based on this definition, we can say that knowing that the derivative of the position vector r is the velocity v and the derivative of the velocity v is the acceleration vector a, we can use the same path and go backward and deduce that the primitive of the acceleration vector a is the velocity v and the primitive of the velocity v is the position vector r. Same thing for the Cartesian coordinates x and y and for the curvilinear abscissa s. For example, determine the abscissa x of a moving particle knowing that the scalar component of the velocity on the x-axis vx equals 60 and that x0 is the abscissa at t equals 0. To answer this question, let's write the primitive of vx, which is x. Then, let's find the primitive of 60, which is 3t squared plus a constant, since the derivative of 3t squared plus any constant is 60. Thus, we can write x equals 3t squared plus constant c. To find c, we replace t by 0 and x by x0. This gives x0 equals c. Finally, we get the answer x equals 3t squared plus x0. This can be generalized and applied for all single variable polynomials by replacing the constant by the value at t equals 0 of the variable we want to determine. Now let's have some examples about the primitives of some polynomial functions. In this table, uppercase f in the second column is the primitive of lowercase f in the first column, while lowercase f is the derivative of uppercase f. For vx equals 0, the primitive x equals constant, which is x at t equals 0. For vy, the constant is y at t equals 0. For ax, the constant is vx at t equals 0. For ay, the constant is vy at t equals 0. Thank you for watching.